Got him. Edges it back on the angle. Bat a surprise. Dismissal that. It was half forward. The bat was angled. He's knocked him over. A great breakthrough for India. Well, there we go. As Richie was just saying, you can't be too careful. He might look innocuous. In fact, he does look innocuous. But Mark Taylor has helped one onto his stumps, as did Jeffrey Marsh. And Border goes for the big drive, and he's on his way back to the pavilion. And Tendulkar has done it again. Oh, he's bowled him! That's also off the inside edge. It may have flicked the pad. The, the, oh, the Indians are absolutely over the moon here. The Aussies are reeling. We all criticised the fact that they'd put the Australian batsman in. Big shout, and he's been given. Prabhaka has asked for a number of LBWs. And finally, umpire McConnell has given him one. And so he's got that breakthrough, and they're now into the bottom half of the order. Oh, he swings, he's gone, is he bottom edge? Yes, that's the six wicket down, and Kapil Dev strikes. What a day for India, unbelievable here at the Adelaide Oval. The great all-rounder, enticing here in a cut, a bottom edge, a very good catch by Pandit. Dean Jones on strike, left on orthodox spin. In the air, and he's gone. And that really was a slog. He's hit right across the line, straight to mid-wicket, and that is a big blow for Australia. Two things will happen if he's got uh, the strike there. He'll either hit it out of the ground. Well, get out that stump, Chorley. Yes, he's given him out stumped. That was a dreadful shot by Shane War. It was the old story. How long could he remain patient? Not very long is the answer. He went for the big one. Oh, he's pulled that one away in the air. Got him. Yes, he's gone. Eventually, they've set the trap for him. Kapil Dev has bowled the bouncer. Hughes has continued to go for the hook shot, and he's hit it straight down the deep square leg's head. Mandraker making the catch. A good one, too, because he hit that nice and firmly. Oh, he's bowled him. Well, so much for my theory. And a big shout there from the Australians, and Srikanth is gone. He's pointing to uh, to a spot above his uh, gloves, but it hasn't helped him because umpire McConnell has given him out, caught behind off McDermott. Short delivery from Craig McDermott. And he's been given by umpire Hare, so a double breakthrough for Australia. Merv Hughes coming on and getting a wicket in his first over. And Mandrika squaring up rather than being sideways on. Finding himself in front of the wicket there. Ball that comes into him. And no doubt about that one at all. In the air, and that's out court. Well taken. He doesn't drop many. One of the best slip fieldsmen in the world. Mark Waugh latching onto that one, his ninth catch in the series. It's a very close one, and he's on his way. That's his third victim for the innings. Mohamed Azaruddin's poor run of scores continues. And this match now in a very delicate situation with India at four for 64 and reply to Australia's 145. It's a fine over. And as are playing across the line. Yeah, it's a good delivery, it's in the air. It's a fairly easy catch there for Craig McDermott. A good delivery from Merv Hughes, getting up off a pretty good length, taking the shoulder of the bat. Sadhu really had no idea where it was, other than he knew it had gone straight up in the air. He was hoping that it might fall safe. Oh. Yes, I would have thought that had to be absolutely plumb. We're on a bit of an angle from here. The replay will uh, let's have a proper look at it from uh, somewhere near the position where the umpire was standing. He's been given by umpire McConnell. Now, this is going to be interesting to see where the ball pitched. So his left arm over the wicket is very difficult to get an LBW unless you're swinging the ball back into the right hander. Provoker not happy at all. Slower ball, he's caught. A border at short cover. Change of pace there from Merv Hughes brings success. 
Kapil Dev, 56. Her views may have just had a few words to him after that miss hook, and I think Kapil Dev was a bit determined to try and take it out on him. It's in the air, Burns getting back, he's got a big chance, he was under it. Well caught, David Byrne, the bouncer. And Pannett going for the pull shot. Got a top edge, it five wickets for Craig McDermott, having a wonderful year. It's in the air, and that's the end. Two wickets for Whitney. Snaps out for 21. Oh, and he's bowled him right through Jeffrey Marsh. Now, how's he missed that? Keppel Dev is, uh, has worried him there. And it's going to be interesting to see if that's gone between bat and pad or past the outside edge. It's in the air. Mark Taylor has been caught. First ball with the second new ball has brought what India has been looking for all day. Mark Taylor's concentration, which has been working well for him all day has finally cracked. Oh, out! Beautiful stuff by Chan Dukan Pandit. David Boone relaxing there. A little glance towards Tendulkar as he came down, and Chan Dukan Pandit very quick and absolutely brilliant to throw down the stumps at the bowler's end. Goodbye. Beautifully caught again by Pandit. He's right in the game. Kapil Dev, having complained so long and hard about the ball, has now got it to move off the seam. Dean Jones goes. A globe for Jones. Triumph again for Chandrakant Pandit. And two wickets for India in almost yeah. no time at all. Oh. First baller. Mark Waugh is not absolutely certain how he's out. Out! He's got him! Well, Kappel gets five. What a magnificent cricketer. Not the width there for the bouncer. Dropped it in short, and it went straight to mid-wicket, and here he departs. A fine innings, 41, but a great piece of bowling by Kappel Dev, the great all-rounder, picks up five. Well, that's got to be pretty close. Yes, umpire Hare had a good long look, and Merv always looked in trouble when that hit him on the pad. Big shout there, and umpire Hare has given that one as well. Shane Warne didn't even bother to look around. He knew that he'd got a touch, and uh, he didn't need to look at the umpire. He knew from the player's reaction that he'd been given out. So Shane Warne has become a batsman, he's made a duck. And that's the end of Craig McDermott. Got a great deal of bounce there as he tried to make room for himself. And now with nine wickets down, the innings will be extended. That's out. So Whitney finally holds out for 12. Border remains 91, not out. 451, all out. Hold him. Yes, he's gone. That's well bowled. The stumps are down. He's left it as well. That's an unbelievable. Trikant getting a bit stirred up there by McDermott and Healy, and then all of a sudden leaves one, which is far too close, and over go the stumps. That's very close. Yes, that is. that looked as though it was... Uh, even closer than the earlier one where there was a big shout. Sudhu goes for 35. Hughes breaks through, enforcing again. He's got him. Another LB. Mark War gets Tendulkar hitting across the line. Judged LBW by umpire Peter McConnell. So Australian with a big chance here to win this fourth test match. Big break. Doesn't play a shot. It's going to be close. He's got him. He's forward too. So another LBW. It's all happening here at the Adelaide Oval. And Saka's not happy. Merv points to the dressing room. Umpire Hare judges him LBW. And he departs very slowly and happily to the dressing room. But Australia right on top now. Four for 102. Yeah, that's well fielded. Well, would you believe it? The run out 
as a Redina State. And why Mansraker went, I've absolutely no idea. But now, which one is going? Mansraker's going, as a Redina State in his crease. Mansraker run out again. I've heard that phrase before. Well, it was his call. Oh, well caught. Jeffrey Marsh down very quickly to that. Apple Dev uh, hit it down, but not quickly enough. You know, that was almost a good shot. It was well bowled by Hughes, well enough to find the thick edge, but it was an authentic stroke. In the air, and did he catch it on the fall? Yes, what a catch. Taylor be happy about that. He's dropped a few, and I reckon that look on his face said, not before time. It's a remarkable game, isn't it? Because that was a difficult catch, and the two he put down were, if you can have anything that's easy in the slip, they were relatively easy. That went like a rocket, and it was low down to his right-hand side. That's one hell of a catch. As Redin, 106. In the air and just short. No, he's out. It's carried. That's gone. And this time, it's the other magnificent slip fieldsman, War, coming into the action there. He's dropped one too today, but uh, he managed to pick that one up and really made it look so easy. He's forward. He's given him. He's... Well, there you go. McDermott gets another LBW, and that should wrap up the Test match. Babaka coming forward. The judge LBW for 64. The fourth LBW decision today. McDermott, beautiful bowling. Full pitch delivery. Coming well forward. It's hit him in line. He's been looking for 10 wickets. It's well struck. He's got him. He's out. Warren takes the catch. 10 wickets for McDermott. A magnificent individual performance. A great test match here at the Adelaide Oval. Brought about by India's. Attack today, they're all out for 333.